So in this paper, our goal was to describe the proteins that were incorporated into virus particles, into virion, so HIV, that came out of T cells or macrophages. And these are the two major cell types that HIV replicates in. So our own cell actually turns into the envelope of the HIV particle as it comes out. And so not only can it interact with proteins as it's going through the cytoplasm or through the secretory pathway of the cell, but it can also kind of interact with proteins in the membrane and take those along also. And so our question was if the proteins were really important to HIV, then by looking at the proteins from the T-cell-derived virus and the macrophage-derived virus, if we compared those and looked for the proteins in common, this would give us a hint as to what the critical proteins were involved in the HIV life cycle. One of the proteins involved is called CD44. And well, what's CD44? CD44 is a protein that is made for binding a carbohydrate that's involved in inflammation. And so if you're HIV and you want to infect cells that are activated in the immune system, this is what HIV loves to infect, then what you're going to want to do is hang out in a place where there's inflammation and basically wait for that cell that is coming in to fight that inflammation or respond to the inflammation, and you're going to infect that cell. And so this molecule then allows HIV to piggyback in these sites of inflammation, and it's got another, a lot of other molecules that can, then can infect the cell that it really wants to go after.